Like, bitch, don't play. Do not play me because I'm never going to sit in front of a camera and be like, I write every single word on my verses because I don't. Am I there to creatively direct and will I sit with someone for seven, eight, nine, ten hours? Yes, definitely. Like it's never just one person working on it. You know what I'm saying? And I hate every white female artist that is sitting there front, fronting, completely fronting that they do write their own shit. But so many people do it. I mean, so many, like, so many people's favorite songs that are on the radio right now are ghostwritten, like period. I don't see what's wrong with it. <laughs> I don't really see what's wrong with it. Of course, one person, I mean, Jay-Z, Beyonce, like, that I don't even wanna say it, but even like, like some of Beyonce's, you know what I'm like, Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? Like, most of her stuff is like purely hers, but I've heard from a couple people that some of her stuff might, like the tune, you know, the way the flow is, you know, shit like that, like might be written. I might be wrong, who knows, you know what I'm saying? But a, it's, a, it's done a lot. And people, the media is just so blind to it because they think that like this, like one artist just can do everything. There is not enough hours in a fucking day for that artist to do everything you think they're doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is. I'm just not gonna be the artist that lies because when I suck at lying, you can hella tell when I'm lying. And I can't keep up with my lies. I can barely remember people's names. You think I'm gonna remember a lie? Like I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> like I really can't. I feel under underrated, I feel unappreciated. I feel like I've been blacklisted within the industry. I mean, I'm just gonna say this right now. Miley Cyrus has reached out to multiple white female rappers that I've been involved with and that I've reached out to and people completely ignore me. And I think that goes along with identity theft. I don't know, um, but it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it fucking sucks. I would have rather been Miley Cyrus's friend and would have been girly girly with her than to feel the way I feel towards her. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to feel like she fucking stole my shit from me. I don't want to feel like that. But when I see her converse with all these other female rappers, like, I lightweight get butthurt about it. I mean, I, I reached out to Iggy Azalea before she blew up and the bitch acted like she was too good for me. And, you know, that sucks. Like, I've never felt discriminated until I moved to LA and people are like, you're from the Bay. Ugh. And then working with Krayshawn and then having what had happened to Krayshawn and to be nasty, like it just, the, it just piles on, you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like I've been blacklisted in the industry and I feel like people don't really wanna work with me or even acknowledge my presence. And that's fine because my time's gonna come. You know, it's all good.